guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to be doing a video about Pokemon plushes today. Today we're going to be doing my top 7 Pokemon plushes from the Pokemon Center. Before we get into number 7, you might be asking why am I on my balcony? And that's mostly because my computer just crashed. It's got the blue screen of death and I can't do any editing right now. So all those videos that I have prepared for you guys has to be put on hold. So what I'm doing is creating new videos on my balcony in the meantime. So, without further ado, here is number seven. Number seven is Petalil. Now you can see here, I love this plush mostly because my favorite color is green. And look at the details of this guy. It's very miniature, but so soft and cuddly and so adorable. Petalil in the game was one of my favorites in the beginning. The reason I like Petalil is because it's similar to the Oddish family, which in the very, very first gen, I used Oddish as my main grass Pokemon and Petalo reminds me a lot of Oddish and they actually made it really nice form factor is nice the look is actually good because Oddish would be here in my list maybe it is, maybe it isn't or they didn't make it as cute as it could be this one is very adorable I'm sure you agree let's move to number 6 number 6 for me is someone who's really special I think the reason I like this one is the colors and it's none other than Gumi I mean look at this a little larger than Petalo but made by the Pokemon Center. Got that tag. I love the little light purple and the green. It's all about form factor for me, right? So the fact that they made it actually look like the Pokemon and not like a deformed version. I'll show you a few examples of what I'm talking about actually. Raichu is my favorite Pokemon. It's hard to come by good looking Raichus, but as you can see here, it's cute, but it doesn't have the Raichu look that I'm looking for. This one too. You see that there's a little bit of a difference here. And that's what I mean by a good looking form factor. With Gumi, my number six, it's perfectly formed, has the look of what you expect a slug looking Gumi to look like, and it's adorable. And that's why it's number six for me. Let's see what number five is. Now number five is a big exciting one for me because it's really soft. And that's this Snorlax right here. Huge, huge Snorlax. It's not like massive huge, but it's so soft. And the cool thing about it is he looks he squishes so he's it's like a pillow. Very soft, very cool. And I left the tag on. So he still has that po pocket monster tag on him right here. The thing is, I want to move him up higher, but I have even more exciting ones coming up soon. To be honest, Snorlax wasn't one of my favorite Pokemon in the first generation. I didn't use it in my lineup. And it was bugging me a lot when I was using the flute. That's not how you play a flute. When you're using the flute and you're trying to wake it up and it was in my way, I was like, get out of my way. I didn't really enjoy Snorlax being there, but this one looks really cute. It's like chibi form because he's so squished. I love that look. So that's why Snorlax is number five for me. Very soft. Oh, you could sleep on this. Let's see what number four is. Now number four is a Pokemon that I sort of mentioned earlier. Not necessarily, but the evolution or at least the pre-evolution of it. And that is Kirihana or in English, Bellossom. And this, I really like because it actually looks like the Lawson. And the cool thing about it, look at my hand, it's a mini, it's a mini plush. And the details of it are really accurate. Sometimes when they make the larger Pokemon mini, they make it look very uh, weird and strange. And it's sort of out of shape. But this one's perfect. You got the petals at the bottom, right? You got your Pokemon Center tag, the Pokemon Fit series which they have. The Pokemon Fit series is basically where they have all the Pokemon and they miniaturize it so that they fit in the palm of your hand. And they have 493 of them created so far. Like I said earlier, the first gen, Oddish was my favorite. Oddish, Gloom, Vileplume. Those were my favorite Pokemon and I was using those all the time. So when I had the opportunity to evolve into Blossom, you know I had to have that in my lineup. A big thing for me in the earlier games was to always have a grass Pokemon that knew sleep and then you know, maybe something like Solar Beam or Petal Dance. Those were my tactics. I like to put someone to sleep and then attack as much as possible. But yeah, the loss on number four. Before we get into our top three, I want to show you one that is not in mine because I don't own it, but maybe you guys could. And that is our packaged Hisui and Growlithe. That's right. If I owned one of these, this would be top seven easily. Technically, I own it, but it's not for me, it's for you guys. So remember, if you're new to this channel, 1,000 subscribers, and this is given away to one lucky winner. So remember to subscribe if you do want to get yourselves a chance to win a Hussein Growlithe. Now, 
Let's move on to number three. Now number three is a little bit of a different looking Pokemon. Backstory here, Mareep was one of my favorite Pokemon in the earlier generations. And I loved when I evolved it because I liked to have a one electric Pokemon. And since I couldn't have the Pikachu earlier because that usually was my Pokemon, Mareep became my electric go-to. And I evolved it all the way to Ampharos and I was super happy about it. Well, lo and behold, we have Ampharos here. Now you might be thinking, that looks weird. And yeah, it's one of those Ampharoses where you can stack them on top of each other with other Pokemon. So it has a weird body shape, right? And it's not an accurate depiction of an Ampharos. They do have those. They don't look as good, in my opinion. But I love this because the face is so fat and the ears are adorably huge. You got your tail right here. So you got this Ampharos, which is my number three, which leads us, actually, to my number two. Boom! This is my number two. So similar, right? They stack on each other. It's Munchlax. A stacking Munchlax, a stacking Ampharos, my number three, and number two plushes that I own. Munchlax here, one of my favorites, actually. I thought Snorlax was annoying in the first generations, but when I saw Munchlax, I was like, that is one adorable Pokemon. And to have it in little chibi plush form right here is really cool. You love the details that they provide you here. And similarly, you could stack them if you want. So you could have them lay it on your couch, your, your car, wherever you want. These are my three and two. So that leads us to my final, the number one. But let's show you some bonuses before we get into our final Pokemon. Bonus plush here, we have a Garchomp, that's right. Like I said, they have this Fit series, so you can see that it fits in the palm of my hand. And the details of this are really nice, because when they shrunk it, they still kept all the intricate details. You have like little slivers on the neck. You have the color. The head is correctly formatted. It's really nice. I would have had this in my top seven, but I mean, I really like the other ones. This is like number eight. This is a bonus. So, really cool Pokemon. I really like it. I bought it recently. I have one more bonus for you guys. Not necessarily a plush, but I saw it on my table and I really wanted to show you guys. It's a miniature Snom. These come in like the Gachapon and you can create it. Basically, it comes separated and you can put them together and you have yourself Snom. Really cool. Uh, he's hard, plastic, but a really cool model to have on your desk or anywhere really for that matter. If I find a plush Snom though, it's jumping all the way to number two because it can't be number one and number one's coming up right now now the number one plush that I own from the Pokemon Center and is a very very special series is a Pokemon Dole Alolan Raichu why I say it's special Pokemon Dole's are a series that they come for a limited time and they build them and people buy them and they become highly valuable so the Alolan Raichu has probably increase in value. The other ones are like the Licky Tongue and I can't think of other Pokemon dolls right now but they're rare. All I gotta say is when you see Pokemon dolls you should probably buy them when you see them in the store. So this is a Pokemon doll series so I guess it has the eyes that are a little bigger than usual but I love the Alolan Raichu because Raichu is my favorite Pokemon and the fact that they created a Alolan Raichu is really cool because they can never really make Raichu correctly but man I love how this one looks. I mean look at the details of it really nice and that's why the Alolan Raichu lid in Miyazaki was one of my favorites if you saw that video if you haven't go check it out after this boom 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 these are my top seven plushes I hope you guys enjoy the video it's a little different than usual I know I will see you guys in the next one peace